what up what up part four we're going to talk about right triangles and pythagorean theorem now with everything we do today we are not going to use a calculator calculators are for noobs and simps i am neither of those next section we'll use calculators though then it won't be for noobs or simps i don't know what a simp means um saw it on the internet once find the missing side what we have ourselves what we have here for ourselves is a right triangle where we are missing the longest side of the right triangle. We all know from Algebra 1 that if I give you a right triangle, we're going to call the longest side C. It's also called the hypotenuse, and we're going to call one of our legs A, and we're going to call another one of our legs B. And you can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for any missing side of a right triangle. Okay, over here, same thing. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem. Now, what I have to do is it doesn't really matter which one of these is the A or the B as long as the longest side is C. So I'm going to call X C. I'm going to call 4A and I'm going to call 3B. Okay, and then you just plug it right in the Pythagorean theorem. A is 4, 4 squared. A fun game to play plus b squared, 3 squared, rhymes, equals c squared, I don't know. Uh, now let's square. 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, c squared is still c squared. Combine like terms, 16 plus 9 is 25, that equals c squared. Is c all by itself? No, square root both sides. Now Normally, when you square root both sides to solve, the side with the number gets a plus or minus sign, but not here because that would be like saying, yes, the answer is going to be negative, blah, blah, blah. You can't have negative measurements for sides. That's silly. So C is going to be 5. And in this case, since the problem that I have is X, and since it also gives us miles, I'm going to make sure I answer this nicely. X equals 5 miles. Now, I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more. But this answer is just 5 miles. That is, by the way, a song. I don't remember who sang it, though. It'll come to me, I think, hopefully by the end of the video. I figured out who sang that song. I could look it up on the internet, but... The internet's for noobs and simps. Find the missing side again. Well, same exact rules, kinda. I have myself a right triangle, so I'm gonna call the longest side C. It doesn't matter which one's A or B as long as the longest side is C, so I'll call you A and I'll call you B. Let's write out Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of the way so I can see that I called A 12, so 12 squared plus B squared is going to equal C, which is 13 squared. 12 squared is 144 plus B squared, which is still B squared, uh, 169. Is B all by itself? No. Now, in the last problem, I had a square plus a square. I actually added the numbers together. That's when I was finding the hypotenuse. I'm not finding the hypotenuse here. I'm trying to find a missing leg. So it's not, let's add them and square root them. I have to do a little bit more. I actually am going to subtract 144 from both sides. So minus 144, cross U out. Drop down the B squared. Drop down the fact that, that is no. 25 again. So let's square root both sides again, and we'll get 5 again. And let's remember that you can't have a positive or minus sign because you can't have a negative length again. And that gives us B equals 5. Now the original problem is X, and the original problem has inches. And so X is 5 inches. Okay. Okay, we're on a roll. Mm. Now, normally, you would look at this and you would say, ah, yes, 
ah, we have ourselves another right triangle. Let me get out my Pythagorean theorem. No. Here, I only have one side, so the Pythagorean theorem is useless. What I also have is the fact that that's 45 degrees right there, which would make you 90. I knew that. But that would also make you 45. Now, much of what we did so far up in these videos was just Algebra 2 stuff. In fact, I don't think anything we did was not Algebra 2 stuff. Pythagorean theorem you see in Algebra 2. Now we are going into geometry territory where we are no longer doing Algebra 2. We are now doing geometry. Precalculus takes Algebra 2 stuff and geometry mushes it together and makes you get ready for calculus. So now we're in geometry land. And geometry land says we have a couple special triangles and this is one of them. Okay, when you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you can find the measures kind of easily. And so since this is a 45, 45, 90, that means this is isosceles. Those angles are the same, which means these sides are the same. So whatever side this is, A, and that's just an arbitrary value, you're going to be the same exact thing, which means finding Y is going to be very easy. Now, how do we find the hypotenuse? Should I do Pythagorean theorem now? No, you could, but no, because in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, whatever A is, the hypotenuse is going to be multiplied or you multiply the square root of two to any of the legs. So again, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, uh, you have a leg is A, uh, another leg is A, and the longest side is the leg times the square root of 2. So, your leg, your 3 root 2, what is Y? The same exact thing. Y is going to be the same as that, so Y is also 3 times the square root of 2. Now I need to find X. What is X? X is going to be one of the legs, 3 root 2, times the square root of 2. And we know that when you multiply square roots together, you multiply the inside. So this becomes 3 times the square root of 4. Oh, I know what the square root of 4 is. It's 2. And so 3 times 2 is 6. So X is going to be 6. And y is going to be 3 times the square root of 2. That's a box. That's a circle. Don't know why I did that. 45, kind of 45, 90, donezo. Are there any other types of special triangles, sir? You ask? I don't know. I guess we'll find out right now. There is another type of special triangles. Another type of special triangle. Hmm. What we have here is we have a right angle, got it. We have 30, got it, which would make you 60. Oh, this is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The way you handle a 30, 60, 90 triangle is you locate the smallest leg. The smallest side will call you A. The smallest side is always going to be the side attached to the 60 and the 90 degree angles. The other leg, what you do, very similar to the last problem, is you multiply the square root of 3 to it. Okay, so whatever the small leg is, multiply the square root of 3 to get the other leg. What's the hypotenuse? You take the shorter leg and multiply it by 2. Okay. So when I look over here, 2 represents A, the shorter leg. V represents the longer leg. So V is going to be 2 times root 3. I don't have to do anything. U is going to be 2 times this shorter leg, 2. Let me get out my calculator. 2 times 2 is 4, so U is 4. V is 2 root 3. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Now, the reason why we are doing special triangles to get ready for pre-calculus is for something called the unit circle. With the unit circle, we talk about two main types of triangles, the 30, 60, 90, okay? 30 degrees and 60 degrees are insanely important for trigonometry and pre-calculus. And we also will see the 45, 45, 90 triangle every now and then in the unit uh, circle as well. Okay, very, 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 very important stuff. Now, the two problems that we did was basic. Okay, if you remember geometry, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I got it. I, I understand. This is where things get a little bit more complicated, and this is where you're going to really see things in the unit circle. I have a 30, 60, 90. Okay, and I'm going to draw a picture over here that's going to be very, very, very similar. Here's my 60, there's my right, there's my 30, whatever the shorter side is. The longer side is going to be two times that, and the longer leg is going to be a root three. Now, what I had in the last problem is I gave you the shorter leg. And so all you had to do is attach the root three and then multiply by two and you're done. Not the case, not the case at all. What we have here is I'm giving you the hypotenuse. So let's think logically, okay? Let's think logically. If the hypotenuse is supposed to be two times the shorter leg, then the shorter leg is going to be half of the hypotenuse. In other words, half of 10, which is five. So y is five. What does that make x? If y is five, x you're gonna multiply root three to five. So x is going to be five root three. Okay, so that wraps up the right triangles and Pythagorean theorem part of this video. Um, I think if you do geometry, you will get to this part. The next part, part five, is the intro to trigonometry. Now, many of you may not have gotten to trigonometry in, in geometry class, and that's okay. If you watch part five and you're like, oh, I've never seen this before, just watch it, pay attention, very important, you're going to see a lot. Uh, but that's part four. Part four is Dunzo Funzo. So as always, I love you. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.